So in this video, we're going to go over useful cognates. Cognates are words that look similar in English and in French, and they also mean the same thing. However, they're pronounced a little bit differently. So these are real gold mines for language learners. So be sure to stick around and learn them with me, okay? Bonjour tout le monde. So in this video, we're going over cognates. So cognates are words that are spelt very similarly in English and in French, and they have the same meaning. However, they're pronounced differently. So in this video, I'm going to help you work on the pronunciation. And I chose a bunch of words that are going to be very useful for you as a traveler or if you're in an emergency. So I'm going to call it my useful cognate list. Okay. And these are real gold mines for language learners because they give you a little bit of confidence knowing that you know some words already. We just got to tweak the pronunciation a little bit. Okay. So let's get into it. Okay. So how I'm going to do this, I'm going to show you the word. I'm going to let you try to pronounce it and then I'm going to pronounce it. Okay. I want you to think French. Don't think English. Okay. Don't make sure your R's and your nasal sounds are all at work right now. Okay. So don't pronounce it like an English person. Okay. So the first word, what's the first word? The first word is information. Very practical word. So how do you say it in French? Information. 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 Okay. Information. So the beginning is a nasal, it's un. And the last sound is also a nasal, it's on. Information. Okay. How about this one? Reservation. 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 Okay. The S makes a Z sound. Okay. Reservation. Une reservation. Okay. Communication. How would you say it? Communication. 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 Une communication. Okay. Une communication. Got it? Okay, let's keep moving. Telephone. Telephone in French is téléphone. 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 Un téléphone. Okay? Question. Question in French is what is it? It's question. You don't pronounce the U, it's silent. Okay, it's the Q silent friend. Okay, we never pronounce it. So it's question. Question. Une question. Okay? An address. Address in French is une adresse. 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 The E at the end. It's not emphasized, well, especially not in Canadian French. They do emphasize a little bit more in, in European French. So it sounds like une adresse. Okay, it's kind of like it's not even there. Une adresse. Adresse. Okay. Pharmacy. Pharmacy in French is very similar. Pharmacie. Pharmacie. Une pharmacie. Une pharmacie. Pharmacy. Okay. I hope you're repeating them here. I hope you're working with me. You're not just watching. You need to be practicing, right? Practicing the pronunciation. I feel like some of you are just watching. Practice. Okay. Speak out loud. It's going to be great practice for you. Okay. A bank. A bank in French is une banque. Okay. The A-N is a nasal sound. It makes a banque. Banque. Okay. Like I said, in Canadian French, the E at the end, we don't pronounce it so much. So it becomes bank. Okay. Une banque. Dentist. Dentist in French is dentiste. We have the E-N sound. Un dentiste. Un dentiste. Okay. Dentiste. Dentiste. Restaurant. A restaurant, how do you say that in French? 
you know? Restaurant. Restaurant. Okay? The AU does make an O sound. It's a little bit less emphasized in this word. Restaurant. Okay? It sounds like un restaurant. Restaurant. Okay? Un restaurant. Okay? Police. Police is, what is it? Police. Une police. 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 So the C makes a S sound like an S, okay? Police. Souvenir. So souvenir in French is souvenir. 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 Un souvenir. Okay? We speak quickly, so it's going to sound like souvenir. Okay? The E after the V is not very emphasized here, so un souvenir. Okay? Uh, un souvenir has two meanings uh, in, in French. Un souvenir is memory, but also is a souvenir like you would in English, like a, you know, a memory you would purchase, like a trinket when you're traveling. So it has both those meanings. Destination. Destination in French is destination. Destination. Une destination. Destination. Okay? A region in French is région. Ré, those tricky R's, ré, gion, région, une région, okay? Station, station in French is similar. What do you think it is? Station, station, une station, okay? Ambulance, ambulance in French is, what do you think it is? The A-M at the beginning, that's a nasal sound, so it makes A. Ambulance. So you have two A's in there. Ambulance. Une ambulance. Une ambulance. Okay? Assistance. If you need assistance. Assistance in French is assistance. 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 Okay. J'ai besoin de l'assistance. I need assistance. J'ai besoin de l'assistance. Okay. Vacant. Vacant. If you see this on a hotel or motel sign, it's, you're going to recognize it right away in French. So you'll know. So it's vacant. Or if it's feminine, it's vacante. Vacant. For masculine. Or Vacante. So it's going to sound like vacant, vacante. Okay? The little T sound at the end. Vacant, vacante. Okay? Direct. Like a direct flight. Direct is direct. Okay? I made another video about this. The D's that French Canadians make sound a little bit different than, uh, you know, European French. It's actually one of my more popular videos. So, the way a Canadian French person would say this is direct. Direct. There's a little buzzing sound in there, if you've noticed. D I don't know why we do that. Um, but anyways, I'll refer you to the other video if you're curious about that, okay? So, direct. Direct. Un vol direct. Okay? Accident. Accident. So, in French, we have nasal sound. Un. Accident, un accident, okay? Accident, accident, okay? A document. You need a document when you're traveling. It's un document, document, un document, okay? Urgent, urgent in French is urgent, urgent, okay? Ur Jean. It's urgent. C'est urgent. C'est urgent. C'est urgent. Okay? And my last word for today is festival. Let's end with a party. Festival. A festival is un festival. Festival. Un festival. 
Okay? How'd you guys do? Did you do okay? I'll list the words below so maybe you can practice on your own a little bit and check back in the video later to see if you did okay. All right? So that's it for today, guys. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do so and ring that bell to get notified because of a ton of fun videos coming up. I do read your comments below and your suggestions and I will be making videos uh, about grocery shopping, traveling at airports, uh, emergencies and health and more pronunciation. So I do read your comments and I do build my lesson plans on whatever you guys need. So don't be shy to comment and be sure to subscribe, okay guys? So I'll see you next week. Merci beaucoup les amis.